Scientists have been testing toilet water because they want to find out which drugs are being used in which European cities. It's a really good way of finding out who's taking what because even if someone lied, the, uh, the metabolites in their pee doesn't lie. The project, which is carried out every year by the European Union Drugs Agency, looked at uh, the, t the wastewater of 128 European cities from 26 countries. It didn't include the UK, unfortunately. They're not included in this anymore. They were interested in exploring the drug-taking behaviours of the city's inhabitants. The study analysed daily wastewater samples in the catchment areas of wastewater treatment plants over a one-week period between March and May 2024. Wastewater samples from 68 million people were analysed for traces of five drugs. Amphetamine, cocaine, methamphetamine, MDMA and KET. As well as, of course, weed. They published their studies today, so what did we learn? While rises were seen in the detections of free stimulants, MDMA, coke and speed, diverging patterns were observed for meth and KET. Despite results varying considerably across the study locations, it's noteworthy that all six illicit drugs investigated were found in almost every participating city. First up, MDMA. Of the 76 cities, 41 reported an increase in MDMA detections, 24 saw a decrease, and 11 saw roughly the same amount of MDMA. Who took the most MDMA? Well, that was Belgium, the Netherlands, and Portugal. Next, coke. Coke residues in wastewater remained the highest in Western and Southern European cities. Again, Belgium, the Netherlands and Spain. But traces were also found in the majority of Eastern European cities where some increases continue to be observed. Of the 72 cities which had data, 39 reported an increase while 17 reported no change and 16 cities showed a decrease. So a bit of a mixed bag for coke. On to speed, the level of amphetamine residue was highest in cities in the north and east of Europe, Belgium, Germany, the Netherlands, Sweden and Norway. Much lower levels were found in cities in the south, although the most recent data shows some increases. Of the 68 cities included, 34 reported an increase, 14 a decrease and 20 stable. And now on to meth. Traditionally concentrated in the Czech Republic and Slovakia, this drug is now present in cities in Belgium, Croatia and the east of Germany. Spain, the Netherlands and several Northern European countries, for instance Denmark, Lithuania, Finland and Norway. Of the 71 cities with data, 32 reported an increase in residues, 27 a decrease and 12 a stable situation. In the remainder of European cities, meth loads were low to negligible, although some increases were reported in central European cities. When it comes to care, it was a um, mixed bag again um, uh, of the cities included. 14 reported an increase, 13 reported a decrease, and the rest remained stable. The highest mass loads of care were found in cities in Belgium, the Netherlands, Hungary, and Norway. Cannabis was uh, lower. The highest loads of weed were found in Western and Southern European cities, particularly in Spain, the Netherlands, Norway, and Portugal. With cannabis, 25 cities reported a decrease and 13 uh, reported an increase with the rest remaining stable. For cocaine, higher loads were detected in larger cities generally. Uh, for meth and MDMA, no differences were seen in uh, sort of large cities or small cities. I wonder if that's to do with the fact that people often order drugs online now and get it delivered to their house via the postal service. In the past, perhaps these drugs were only available to people who had the connections. And we know that big cities are often served by drug networks much better than smaller cities or small towns. Unsurprisingly, uh, more drugs were found to be in the wastewater at the weekend. People were more likely to use Coke, Ket, and MDMA at the weekend. However, cannabis and meth People were more likely to use that at the weekend and during the week. 